Three main themes I'm seeing within cross-border remote working. Cross-border remote workers are here to stay. It's almost entirely employee-driven in a market where talent is as scarce as ever and the compliance implications are quite serious potentially, so you need a system, you need an approach. The most common challenges that we're seeing with regards to cross-border remote working is understanding what the complexities are from a compliance perspective and making sure that our business understands that we're not able to just move people as and when they need without actually doing like a true assessment is probably what we find most challenging. It's really important for organisations to measure sustainable mobility because the environment is changing. Uh, we're seeing lots of external pressures as well as internal pressures. We're seeing climate impact and corporates, uh, corporate organisations uh, need to be responsible for making the change. And part of that is the mobility of their, their employees around the world. is the final session that we had on the wellness and the tracking I did not realize it was that advanced and it makes sense in the context of F1 data and sports and all of that but I'd like to see where it could go in a corporate setting. Individual employees now um, they really have high expectations around the duty of care that employers have to their employees and so therefore it's really imperative now that companies provide a really broad suite of provision, particularly post-Covid and in an era where people are struggling with burnout and high pressure from their roles. Well, the thing with sustainability is you need to walk the talk. And mobility is one of the more visible elements of sustainability. The actual carbon footprint associated with mobility might be quite small, but from a values point of view, it's important to be seen to do the right thing and to include it.